Well, Didier Drogba is the latest player to join the MLS. That's talking about the Major League Soccer in the United States. And is it really safe to say that the MLS is fast becoming a home for players who have actually passed their prime? It's a big question we need to ask on this program. Hello and welcome. I'm Cecilia Amogbe, and you're watching Sports This Morning. Now let's just take a look at the major headlines. And we're starting with what is happening at the Glass House. Of course, it is this big question. When will the drama between Nigel Football Federation and former coach Stephen Keshi finally end? There's actually a new twist to his sacking, and NFF has actually confirmed that they received a letter from his lawyers. What are the contents of the letter? You find that on the program. And talking about the World Championships in Beijing, Maurice Green believes Team Nigeria are ready for medals. Also on the program, World well, Rafael Nadal is seeking a solid form at the German Open in Hamburg starting this week. Now coming to Nigeria to coordinate the relay team hasn't been an easy task for Maurice Green. Remember he has won four good medals, four medals at the Olympics, of course, five good medals at the World Championship. But right now he's with the Nigerian team and how ready will the team be when the World Championships start in Beijing on August the 22nd? Let's just listen to him. It's a good thing. You know, I, 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 think, I believe Team Nigeria has a lot of talent, and I would love to come here and do something special for the country. I think there are a lot of, lot of great things here to come in the near future. You know, but there, there are a lot of Nigerians that are in the United States that, are, that will be competing for Team Nigeria. Um, they are just either injured right now or they have some other, other duties to do for their schools and everything else. But, you know, there are a lot of Nigerian athletes that are homegrown that we're working with and that are getting better and we're going to see a lot of good things. You know, it's, it's just hard that because everybody is so spread out. You know, you have some in America, you have a lot of, a lot of them here. It's just hard to all come together. Oh, I, I, I am fulfilled a lot, but, you know, I want to do great things for Team Nigeria. I think we're going to be very prepared as we go into, into the World Championships in China. I think we're going to do a lot of great things. But the team definitely will be ready when it starts on August the 22nd. Well, you guys can talk to us on Twitter and on Facebook what you think about the Team Nigeria, if they can really win medals, and how many will they really win? Because this is going to be a tough one for Athletic Federation of Nigeria to go on ahead to actually uh, well, seek the services of Maurice Green, a former champion, someone who knows how to really win when it comes to athletics. Then I think the relay team, they really, really, <laughs> uh, they really, really need to deliver. And if you look at what happened in Bahamas the last time, if that is the case, then we, it's safe to actually say that what happened in Bahamas, the team can really perform well. well will it just be all about the relay teams? In Worry last week, some of the athletes complained about the where they actually ran and not happy with the tracks in Worry. But we'll be talking to well the athlete the technical director of Athletics Federation of Nigeria, Mashe Nishama, on the program later. But well, first of all, let me just welcome my guest, Chinasia Iboyin. Chinasia, welcome to the program. Good morning, Chinasia. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing great. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Of course. Always a pleasure. Now, quickly, I'll just pose you this question. Uh, how many medals do you think Nigeria can win at the Athletics Championship? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, maybe three, four. Okay, three, four. Yeah, okay. Three, four. Like gold, silver, or bronze? Uh, silver it's touch and go when it comes to gold because I'm, I'm banking on Bless Makamari. But the fact that Ashel Alfred's prize is back and she ran uh, the first time in the world this year, you know, there are some young Americans too. Uh, but, it, you know, it's, uh, it depends on the day. It might just be Blessings Day and she runs a fantastic time and she gets a medal and maybe gold. So, aside Bless Makamari, okay. I, 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 I don't think. And maybe a surprise from the long jump. <laughs> okay, whatever, but, long uh, jump. Okay, really? A uh, really is maybe yeah. a medal. If we get a lot, we might get a medal. Which of the four by, four uh, four by one women? Four by women. Four by the one. Men? Four by one women. The men, nah. Okay. If they get to the finals, I think that that's a good one for them. <laughs> okay, but well, that's not really cool. We'll be talking to uh, Omashi Nesuyama. Was the technical director of athletics Pressure of Nigeria much later on the program. But before he joins us on the show, we'll just talk about what is happening with the athletes in the U.S. Tara Salam sent us a report earlier on how far the athletes are really, really going and how well they have been performing. I will just look at that about, well, the 
the Special Olympics actually started, you know, just on, let's say, on Sunday. And of course, you had the opening ceremony. It was really great for all of them. And for Team Nigeria, I mean, they've already started thinking of how they're going to, you know, win more medals and all that. If Tayo will be able to join us on Skype, I know it's early hours of the morning, we should be able to take him. But for now, we'll just talk about what is happening with the athletes and how ready and how prepared they are, and how many medals they intend to win. And it's actually good news for them. You have a Teju. Muluwa Ugunlele actually winning a medal, and Adebi Olatunji and Adede Mola Roberts got on the medals table on day two of the competition. But Ugunlele actually started off the medals rush for the country by winning silver in Division 15 of the 100 meters women's freestyle. That's talking about swimming before Roberts and Olatunji added to the tally with gold and silver in Division 7 of the 100 meters men freestyle event. The pictures you saw earlier was actually the first game they played in the basketball good one uh, you know uh, there, there's been a steady progression when it comes to the special olympics uh, by nigerian athletes uh sad they don't really have a uh, much spotlight on them thanks to channel TV for what they're doing actually following this team and bringing it out to the spotlight but uh uh, going forward, I think uh, they should be able to get more medals. They've they already started on a good note, getting a gold medal in the swimming, uh, in the swimming department, uh, getting other medals too. So I think uh, you know, they will get better, they will get more medals, and uh, I hope this brings more exposure to these guys you know, and to what uh, they really want. They should get more support, they should uh, be appreciated. I hope that when they come back uh, from their outing in Los Angeles, they will be uh, hosted, they will be given uh, the much uh, due recognition that they deserve. Of course, that is uh, definitely the target. And for them, they just want to see how they can double. Well, that's really, really, really cool. How they can double the medals they won the last time in Greece. But this time around is in early. And of course, the athletes are all having fun. The medals are there. And of course, he's really happy you know, having to be on the podium at the swimming events hopefully so of course nigeria is still participating in football and of course in basketball and some of the games medals will definitely be coming from there and tayo salam will be giving us updates regularly on the program okay we'll speak now with uh omashe and Nisuyama, talking about nigerian athletes you know complaining about the field the track they actually ran on in worry saying that it was really too cool why they were running that's the reason most of them actually posted a very very uh, uh low performance so to speak good morning good morning how are you? yeah i'm fine thank you now some of the athletes uh channels television spoke to after the worry relays and of course a grand prix on friday we're talking about the fact that the reason for them posting that low time is simply because the track wasn't too good enough for them what do you think about this well, um, I just thought I would just say that what it tries is one of the factors in the media. And I don't know. Not only the Abuja fan, a child is a fan, and it's a And I don't know. And they have they did not do as well as one would have expected, and a series would be um, given uh, by you know, using any, any means or any situation. But the truth is that the weather, yes, was not too so favorable, one understands that. But that's just it. Uh, athletics is wrong whether it is dry or wet. But I can assure you that you have you did that. Okay, I think that the line is breaking there. We cannot really hear you that much. We'll get, to, get back to you if, you like, if the line is clearer. Now, I actually talked about the fact that it's not about the track. Of course, it's one of the fastest you have in Nigeria. You mentioned the one in Kaduna and, of course, the one in Akure. So these tracks are really fast. And, of course, the worry uh, track is also are fast. Does it mean maybe the athletes posting that uh, low time? Because some of them had a personal best, which was even better than what they ran in Worry. Is it the athletes that were not really ready for the relay? A, a whole lot of conditions can come into play here. You know, uh, the athletes know what actually uh, they need to perform at the ultimate level. Uh, it could be the track, like they said. Uh, it could be conditioning. You know, definitely sometimes when you get to, when you're preparing for a world championship or you're preparing for a major event, you need to condition yourself. You need to train yourself towards picking at the right time instead of picking uh, before uh, you're the set goal. Uh, maybe the athletes uh, 
are trying to do, they are trying to do that, they are conditioning themselves, but uh, they were still disappointed with the times that they recorded because they felt uh, maybe on a good track, on a better track, it would have been, they would have had a, a, they would have posted better times. But uh, I, I'm not really concerned about this. I just hope that they, they've done enough to qualify for the World Athletics Championship when they do that, when they get there and condition themselves and uh, get to peak at the right time. Okay, get to pick at the right time. That, that's really what is important. We, they still have some time to actually prepare for the World Championships. They need one more. All Nigerian Athletics Championships is starting tomorrow in Wari. And by Friday, we should be having the athletes that have been selected to represent Nigeria in that championships. And of course, hopefully some of them can make the A standard that they are seeking. We only have some qualified for Blessing Okagbari, Tyrone Atkins, and of course, Amaka Okwebulem. These uh, athletes have qualified have qualified for the World Championships. And this year, AFN has said that, well, they're not looking at numbers. They're looking at the athletes that can make that A standard and they're sure that they will get a medal. And those are the athletes they will be going with. No jamboree, according to them. So if it's just four or five athletes that make the standards, so only four or five athletes will represent Nigeria. But 4 by 100 meters women have also qualified in the relay team. But the 4 by 400, of course, 4 by 400 men and women, we're still waiting for them to qualify. An opportunity for them is the all Nigeria athletes are trials starting on Wednesday. Okay, Nisema is back on the line now. If we can get him clearer from Abuja. Okay, so you're actually talking about the fact that you have some other uh, tracks in uh, Nigeria that worry is one of the fastest we have. Yes, um, we have the Akure track, the Kaduna track, and the Wari track as the fastest we have in the country. And uh, the excuses, like I said, again, we are not uh, very tenable. But one of the signs the fact that the weather was not that, that friendly, and the fact that most of them were get lagged from their trip. But that is not to say that uh, they shouldn't be able to perform well. I can tell you that there were about four or five uh, very good performances were recorded in the middle distance. The 800 meters, we are able to record a 149 seconds. The best we've had in the country this year has been 151. For the women, they were able to re record 204, whereas the best we had had been uh, a lot uh, higher than that. We recorded the best jump in the season at the trials. At, at the championship, which was 7 7, uh, which was 7 9. The best we had before now was 7 7, but then it was a good window. So, um, in as much as uh, people uh, complain, but people should also look at the technicality involved. And I uh, think I'm just an ally to tell you that we still were able to record very good performances, even in the relays. We had probably 0 0.1 seconds uh, slower than what we had. In, even in Marrakesh, in this track, and yet we have not even gone for a major championship yet. This is just a uh, preview to our trials. So I believe that if people actually focus on what they want to achieve by Thursday, Friday, this week, we have having our national trials, in the same track, we will be able to record even better performances now that the athletes are more relaxed and they are better prepared. It is probably just excuses coming from a few that didn't do well, that uh, let you know, some of the few um, uh, complaints they've been complaining. But I can assure you that the World Track is one of the best we have in countries, and we are still going to use it for national trials. Okay, uh, quickly, just uh, talking about the World Championships, how many athletes have qualified for this? At World Championships right now, we have um, about four athletes already qualified. But your qualification, it is not all. We are going to have the trials to ensure that what you qualify for, you are able to still achieve it. If you are not able to achieve it, the technical and selection committee will look at every factor to decide those that will leave for Beijing for the World Championship. It is not just enough to make the standard, but you make the standard and also meet with other factors that are actually embedded in the selection policy that was released in February this year. 